Hello everyone, it's William here. And I just wanted to take a break to make a video today because I'm tired of thinking about videos, topics, um, intellect in general. Um, I think intellect is overrated. I think that we live in a society similar to what Rudolf Steiner said with Armand, where it's simply science is our religion and if science doesn't know something, then, well, we don't believe it. And everyone seems to live their life that way, not ever imagining, knowing, one, that science can't explain everything, and that perhaps there are other tools to learn about our reality, other than science. Over the past four or five years, um, I've always been kind of an intellect person. I'm a writer. Uh, I like ideas. I've never been captured completely by universities and academia. I've always uh, kind of sensed some kind of fuckery with that, that system, or any system in general. But lately, and especially now, I'm relying less on intellect and more on instinct or intuition. And a thing that I'm really, I didn't, I'm not really tapped in, I don't do social media, I don't talk to a lot of people, especially where I live here in Oregon and Portland, where everyone's kind of ideologically captured. Um, but I do feel that there's some kind of spiritual movement. I remember I watched the Super Bowl and I saw some movies where uh, companies are using like meditation and maybe space stuff, um, which is a reflection of what's popular out there and what gets people's attention. And I just want to make a few comments. Uh, also, I. Uh, was listening to a gentleman on YouTube who channels his spirit guides and tells everyone what's happening in the world. And uh, I found it interesting the amount of arrogance that he had about his information. I'm sitting there thinking, because you talk to your spirit guides, you are privy to things that no one else can find out? And I made a comment and I got a couple of attacks in return, <laughs> you know the typical know-it-all or whatever and my theory is if someone came back to earth or Jesus came to earth and they really did know it all no one would listen because their ego would just respond with some kind of insult <laughs> I mean that's the state we're in right so it didn't really offend me but I just want to say the spirit world is not all roses and Guides are not always what you may think or what you see in your meditation. Um, these, these entities have the ability to be whatever they want. And uh, depending on where you are and what your experience are up to that point, I mean, they could be anything. And they can tell you anything. Um, and they'll often lead you on with things that prove to be true. And... Um, then tell you things that will influence your life and your path. And I guess what I want to say, it's kind of not as popular as reach your spirit guides and they will guide your life is no, go here. You don't need to go other places, in including the uh, spirit world for answers or direction. Now they can help you with things, but Everyone's already looking outside themselves for everything, for pleasure, for entertainment, for relationship, for love. And it's all already here. Now, I've heard this so many times over the years and the things that I read. It's almost cliche for me to say it, but you have to work your way in, right? Slowly to bring your world in and oftentimes the spirit world is just taking you further from that and it can be addictive um, there might be a rush involved and as with anything um, with a little dopamine hit people latch on to that and do it especially if it's not something proven to be bad for your health or bad for you since when does everything have to be written in stone that it's bad for you to realize that maybe it's not good I mean, well, when you go within, you don't need things written in stone. You don't need other people. You don't need people 
connected to their spirit guides. You can connect to your own. And maybe your truth is different, you know? Maybe there aren't, you know, Donald Trump supporters um, locking up all the politicians left in the world. Maybe that's not true. Um, and just because you wanna believe things. Now, I'm not talking down to anyone because I know we all have our own series of trials and triumphs to work through to kind of get to who we are. But there's a certain, there's certain things that you must have. One is openness, and certainly two is skepticism of people who claim to have information that no one else is privy to. First of all, this mess of a world that we're in right now is due to control of ideas and information in the name of power. And anyone doing that on a spiritual level as well, don't think that they're not trying to do the same thing or just sell merch and make money. And spiritual, real spiritual people will be humble because this is a universal lesson, right? Now we all have our personality quirks and things and the way we communicate, but this is humble. It's a very true thing to spirituality because you will quickly find out that you are not the smartest thing and neither are your guides and you know humility is just huge another thing is taking advantage of people and I see this a lot in the tarot world um, that's why I don't do tarot I thought about it but I, I really had to reconsider it's like wait a minute who am I or my guides to tell people to affect people's decision about their life, right? To tell them their future or tell them what the best path is for them. Now there's certain circumstances where I'll be comfortable with that, but certainly not with people I didn't know for money, you know? And I'm certainly not on here to ultimately sell clothes or jewelry. Um, I guess I can't count that out at some point, but it's not the motive, you know? Motives are important. And most motives will you lead to money or power or ego in some way. Um, they just do. I mean, it's, it's a tool that I use often. What could be this person's motive? And what are they in life? What do their actions and language display that they're interested in and that they're trying to do? If it's always making money, then it should be no surprise that the spirit guides are also leading them to make money. Now, there's nothing wrong with money, but you shouldn't use your special abilities or gifts just to make money and tell people things that they want to hear you know because i guarantee you that some people will build a platform have multiple followers um, and one day their spirit guide or a spirit guide may tell them hey this and this and this is not true anymore what are they going to do go on and upset all of their followers? Probably not. You know, but here again, it's, I'm also not here to judge. The main reason for this video is that all you hear is astral travel, bliss, spirit guides, angels, and I have experiences with all kinds of other things. Um, things that can make you ill, can even threaten your life. And that can also appear as anything else. I hope to make more videos in the future about these topics, and I hope everyone is doing well. It's almost Christmas time, and uh, if you don't like any of this, don't watch any more videos. You know, because I'll be making a lot more. Merry Christmas.